everybody. Charlie here, Vanishing Nomads. Uh, you haven't heard from us in quite some time. There has been some major, major changes. And uh, we've got some videos coming. We've got uh, all kinds of stuff gearing up. Uh, we've done a major, and I do mean a major, major change uh, in, excuse me, a major change in everything that we have done in the van. Basically, we ripped everything out and we started from scratch all over again. Uh, I'm going to show you a quick video of what we've done. Just throw it in there, something to let you know we're still alive and we're still well and we're still planning in the van life. Um, thanks for everybody who has uh, chimed in to see where we've been. Uh, a bunch of personal stuff has gone on, uh, issues all over the place. Anyway, um, hope to see you soon on the road and here's what has transpired since the last time we've seen you the front of the van kind of basically looks the same we still don't have a chair we're waiting on some swivels we're trying to get this uh, electrical box out of here that had to do with the lift obviously the lift is gone the front half of the van really hasn't done anything uh work wise we've done some great great milestones on as far as it's concerned uh it's running like a champ right now you know knock on wood we have some wood in here um uh, knock on wood i mean like i said transmission's going well now uh oxygen o2 sensors have been fixed uh tune-up has been good we've got tires on the front end uh, everything's just about good oh there's dave uh so let me show you what has transpired. Uh, you can refer back to our old videos to see what we had done, but we changed everything, obviously. Okay, so here is, uh, there's Dave. This is our sink right now, but uh, right now Dave seems to be using it as a hot tub. We finally got the carpet in. Don't pay attention to the other junk that we've got in here. Uh, haven't really done much on the outside yet. Uh, the end tables that were over here that were part of the bed, we moved, obviously. We moved these. We cut it down. Here's our water. Like I said, this is our sink. Uh, Dave seems to be really, really uh, content with it right now as far as a hot tub is concerned. We just bolted it down there. We have a sink uh, faucet that is ordered. It's on its way. Dave likes to... Dave likes to ride, uh, not basically shotgun, but he likes to ride hot tub. So we just put him in there and he's kind of like hangs with us. We've got some other stuff coming up too that we wanted to show you. Anyway, but uh, new setup. Like I said, there's our sink. This is obviously where the camp stove, which is right here, will be used. Uh, the window pops open. We've uh, done all the, that there. Uh, new fridge bought ourselves a fridge and haven't got it hooked up yet but we're working on it okay uh, pretty nice size one uh, as far as the bed is concerned in the back we still have the bed area in here four by four bed area that is housing stuff underneath there uh don't know if we're going to go with that toilet made up as a composting toilet or another one yet we're not too sure about that underneath the bed and move this out of the way the tail end of the bed that we actually had uh end tables on we moved it here we put another two foot out and this is going to be our compartment area for um our electric our propane our water uh water pumps things of that nature a little bit bigger of an area here for us here uh, we have this here, which I'm not finished with yet. This is an old cedar chest that yeah, I cut and we put into the corner piece here. Uh, this is going to, we're going to put some shelves in it and make a pantry out of it. And uh, above the pantry area, uh, the all-important TV, we had to have, we had to get ourselves a TV. We put baskets on the wall back here for more storage uh closed storage or stuff we're not sure exactly what's going to happen the end tables that were in the front being part used as part of the bed we moved them to here underneath and we cut the table down so we you know cut the table down cut the table back as far as that's concerned so uh, i'll try and leave this here above the stove area kind of leave it kind of uh you know open we have uh 
we cut so we still have use of the drawer here even though the pipe goes behind uh, so that's there uh, our fresh water tank is there uh, we have a cooler excuse me a cooler that we'll be putting in here that is removable we won't be using it as a cooler but we'll be using it as uh, storage for the camera stuff <laughs> we got a new windshield in so there's no more leakage is concerned we're still not sure about what we're going to do with the overhead area here we have a couple of ideas um, as far as that's concerned we're looking pretty good uh, made some major changes made some uh, adjustments took a lot of the uh, lace out of the windows uh, blocked them out with uh, plastic dip spray worked pretty good on the ones that we just want to be solid uh, on the on the ones that don't want to be solid we're gonna have limo tint put on them so we can see out of them but yet still be able to put the other stuff on it as for this area right here I'm still planning on I haven't ordered it yet but that's gonna be next this is our door and once it's closed I'm looking at some type of uh, well metal insulation type thing across here a uh, small wood burning stove coming up through here piping it right out this way here on the door and being able to be disconnected and covered when we're uh, driving uh, as far as on the top is concerned well on the top we're going to get a big rack even though it's already a super high top this here is quite quite high uh, I'm 5'8", and uh, I probably have about, oh, two or three inches here, so it's 5'10", easily. Um, but what we're going to do on the outside top is uh, we're going to put a ladder rack, a custom-made ladder rack on the top, so we can put solar up there. We also have a new uh, receiver hitch put into the back end, finally, so that's covered. Uh, just, like I said... A quickie, kind of like to let you know that we are still alive and working on this and trying to figure out what's going on uh, day by day. Uh, due to personal issues as far as family issues and things of that nature, we are not going to get out of here when the first snow falls this year. Uh, we knew that. That's why we kind of took, you know, took a little bit of time. We're, we still have, we put our front facing on, but we haven't put our, our trim on yet. We're going to put some kind of a trim in here and make it look, you know, most of the build stuff is done. I'm going to, I have electrical and I have plumbing to do next. Um, after that, or should I say while that is going on, then it's uh, Sally's department where she's going to start doing decorating and stuff. I keep overpowering that like most men do and i apologize for that to, to her all the time and uh we just come up with different ideas so i wanted to put three baskets across here however this area here we're talking about uh, being built up to where we can see tv on it uh this little corner piece that we cut out i cut the corner piece out so it'd be easier to walk around but i have the corner piece in here underneath saved and what i'm going to do is i'm going to build it with a small cushion so that if we want to we can put that up and make this a full full size uh what is it six foot by i think we've got four four and a half foot which is uh hopefully plenty of room for us these cushions and stuff will not go on here eventually we'll have a full-size mattress that a custom-made full-size mattress that'll fit there um, as far as the seats are concerned, what we're going to do with the seats, we're going to, um, we're looking right now into swivels on both of these to where they can swivel forward. And we have a table that will fit in between, mounted into the floor when we need it as a higher table to eat off of and swing this way to where it'll be next to the kitchen area. So it'll be an extra table to do prep work on and uh, then also a smaller pole to put in the same table and put it down lower to where it can be either a quote-unquote uh, computer table or coffee table uh, as far as uh, sitting and watching TV and stuff I think uh, both of us here because this here actually swivels this way swivels this way tilts up tilts down for the bed uh, that's what we're 
hoping to get done. I got a counter uh, a border piece that not piece but a small cabinet that I'm hoping will fit in the front in there and attach uh, curtains to it so it'll have give us complete privacy. Uh, like I said, a complete 360 degree turnaround compared to what we did have. Uh, we've got carpet and stuff in finally uh, and uh, we're moving right along. It's it's getting there. Uh, now that we've got most of the build done, now we're working on plumbing, uh, the water, the water tanks, things of that nature. So that's next on the list. Hope to see you soon and just let you know thanks for watching and keep in touch. Bye-bye.